This is the class selection menu. The assault class is your main offensive class. Rifleman is medium to long range. Elite Rifleman is medium to long range. But he has the option to use the semi-automatic rifle, bolt action, and the submachine guns. He can pretty much do the two above classes. The machine gunner carries the machine gun. Marksman is your sniper. The squad leader and commander, they sort of overlap in roles, but the commander has a little bit more functionality. They both carry a smoke grenade and a binoculars. Smoke grenades let you conceal your team and binoculars let you give orders. This is the squad view. You can view the available you can view the available slots open. This is the spotting screen. To the left you can see how much time is left on the map. Your reinforcements, the spawn queue, and how long you have until you respawn. On the right you can see the spawn location, spawn one, spawn two. Those are locations on the map where you can spawn. You can also spawn on squad leaders if they are alive and aren't near enemies. This is the assault class. He's the main offensive class. He carries the submachine gun so he can clear out rooms pretty quickly. And I'll show you guys the first person cover system. If you walk up to it, you press the control key, it'll lock onto cover. And then from there you can peek over the top or through the sides with the right click which is iron sights and you press right click again iron sights and it'll bring you back into cover you can also bind fire from the top and from the sides another tip is the German grenades automatically start cooking when you pull the string so you don't need to press any additional keys or in sprinting you can see your stamina bar deplete as you run you also be able to jump over objects, climb over objects by pressing the space bar and it'll let you mantle over. You can also use the first person cover system on most of the objects, but keep in mind if you're there's bullet penetration in the game, so if you're hiding behind wood, it's not gonna help you that much because they can shoot through it. The game mode I'm currently in is territory mode and this objective in this game you have to attack the objectives or deplete the enemy's reinforcements before the timer runs out. And to see the HUD you just press the T key and it'll bring them up. You can also dial in the range of your weapons. For this submachine gun there's it only has a effective range of two hundred meters and you can use your scroll wheel to zoom through the ranges. There is also a command rose. If you press the B key, you can bring up basic voiceover commands. This is the machine gunner class. He carries the machine gun. When you when you go prone, he'll automatically deploy bipods and you can move around and he'll pick up the machine gun and redeploy it. You can also use the enhance zoom function. All classes have that and you can use the range adjustment on his iron sights to fire at different distances. He has a single fire function. If you press the alt fire key, he'll shoot in single fire. This is only for the German machine gun. He, if you left click, he'll fire in full automatic mode. And if you press the weapon function key, it'll change the barrel. What this does is it lets you stop, prevent the gun from overheating if you fire for long durations. This is the marksman class, which is your sniper. You right click to bring his scope in. It has all these optical features. And he has a range adjustment on his scope. And if you press the weapon function key, he'll bring to iron sights, press it again, and it'll go back to scope. This is the commander class. If you press the V key, it'll bring up his command menu, and you can give orders to attack, defend, mark artillery objectives, and it also has the force respawn, so you can see respawn timers. He also has a smoke grenade. The way I use it is I throw it onto enemy locations instead of on my own teammates. This way it blocks the other team's field of vision and not my own team. 
and we can see if they're throwing grenades across. Because if you throw it on your team, they can throw grenades into the smoke and your team will never will never see the grenades and that's kind of bad. Another feature of the commander is binoculars. Is you, you can bring it up with iron sights, left click will mark artillery locations. And if you go out and press your alt fire key, it'll let you use movement commands on that location. So you can tell your squads to move to that location or something like that. Now that I marked a location for artillery, I'm gonna go find a radio, open up my tactical menu, find the little radio icons throughout the map, and then move towards one. This one over here. So you walk up to it, press the control key, which is the news key, and you can see his the commander features in here, force respawn, artillery recon, and artillery strikes. Force respawn lets you respawn everybody in the spawn queue on the left before the timer ends. So Say you have 10 guys in there who are dead and they're waiting for the respawn timer and the respawn timer is like 10 minutes or 17 seconds. You don't want to wait all that long to, for you guys to respawn. You just hit the force respawn and they're all automatically respawn all of them. And you can see a little plume of smoke on the technical menu in the, bot in the top that indicates where your artillery mark was. And if you have multiple, you can use your mouse and click on which one you want the artillery to fall on and then click your artillery button. The aerial recon works different from other games where the information isn't immediate to everybody. It has to follow down the chain of command. So the, co the commander will see the spotted enemies first and then later on his squad leaders will and later on the squad members will see the information. It also does not show players who are inside of buildings, only on the outside. Also, when you call an artillery, sometimes you want to cancel it, and there is a cancel artillery button in the top right. And to use aerial recon, you have to be at the radio station for it to work, and you have to stay there until it's over for it to also stay working. So now I'm going to show you guys the machine gun emplacement. I looked on the map, saw the icon, and then I'm going to move towards there. I was running, I ran into this guy on the other team, so I had to kill him before he killed me because I was in a live server. So here's the other, here's the emplacement machine gun. To use it, you walk up to it, press the control key when you see the machine gun icon, and it'll pull you into an overhead view. If you right click it, it'll bring you to iron sights. These machine guns have no recoil since they're mounted, and they don't overheat and they have unlimited bullets but you do have to reload so keep that in mind and the same functions work you can duck behind cover with the machine gun 